on a Portugal flag uh, ship. Uh, it was the ship was taken over in the seas by the an Iranian port. making the, uh, the point to the Iranian government that uh, these people should be released, that they should not be detained. Yesterday night, uh, I spoke uh, to my Iranian counterpart. I pressed him. I said, I, you know, there are 17 uh, crew members from India. You are aware that uh, when we speak about Modi ki guarantee, Modi ki guarantee is inside the country, Modi ki guarantee is outside the country. Whenever any Indian travels abroad, this guarantee Modi gives. I mean, they can take the travel insurance, but they get a free guarantee from Modi. Okay? The free guarantee from Modi is whatever trouble you are in, we are dead for you. So, and we have seen, shown it. We have shown it in Ukraine. We show, showed it in Sudan. We have shown it repeatedly during COVID. Now, these people were on a Portugal flag uh, ship. Uh, it was the ship was taken over in the seas by the an Iranian force. Uh, it is the ship was directed to then proceed to Iran. Yesterday night, uh, I spoke uh, to my Iranian counterpart. I pressed him. I said, I you know there are 17 uh, crew members from India, uh, and uh, it is uh, you know uh, we we are uh, making the uh, the point to the Iranian government that. Uh, these people should be released, that they should not be detained. Uh, so, uh, I understand, and, and after that, there have been some follow-up conversations between our embassy and the Iranian authorities. I'm getting some reports, but for me, until first point is, I want our embassy people to actually go there and meet these people. That is when I will, that will be my first point of satisfaction. Secondly, I would like, you know, I, I would absolutely press for these people to come back to India. Uh, as quickly as we can. I'm quite, you know, at, my colleague, at least Iranian counterpart, was quite responsive. He said, okay, I understand it. Uh, I will try and do something to help you.